Alright, what's up everyone, it's me Barky, and I'm here with another mod showcase, which is the Tilled Soil mod. Which sounds a bit weird when you say it out loud, Tilled Soil, but anyways. Uh, this is a really cool mod that kind of adds in something that almost should be in the base game, but at the same time, some people think it's broken, some people won't agree on that. But it adds the ability to make soil um, anywhere, pretty much, that I can think of. And then on top of that, it allows you to make fertile soil. Now, you're probably thinking, well, that sounds stupid. Soil is soil, and fertile soil is meant to be rare, which you're right. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. That, but that literally is what the mod does. So I'll show you. Over here, I've got this kind of messy area, which it looks like someone just kind of drew random sheets of color, and I did, actually. So these are just really random floors on the ground. And I just want to show you how it's done. So if I go over here and choose soil, I can essentially paint over it with normal soil. So you can see it there done. That's actually fertile soil, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I can just paint over the area with soil. Not this stuff. What is this? Marshy soil. Okay, screw that. You can do it with tilde. Okay. Just wondering why that didn't work. Uh, so how you get that is you click is you go into your research bench and you research the terrain rehabilitation, which allows you to build soil. Now, for some reason, you need to research that to build normal soil, but you don't need to do it for tilled soil. I have no idea why. So let's go ahead and clean this up, and I will make normal soil everywhere, tilled soil. Do that so you can see what the tilled soil looks like. It looks like cornrows, kind of. Well, it looks like a normal farm. Sorry, I'm just being... <laughs> Being stupid, it looks like a normal farm. You can see it over there, which looks really nice. It, it looks really good, it's got its own texture. It's not just a copy of fertile soil, so that's... Okay, cool. So you can't actually... I tried to put soil back after that, it doesn't work. So you can't go back. <laughs> can I do this? Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna repaint it with metal quickly. Even my game's lagging. It's messed up. How am I going to get rid of this marsh? Nope. Okay. Um, actually, let's do this, let's do this in-game. So moisture pump, which needs power, which I can get from over there. We can do this the, the in-game way. Do that. There we go. Everything's in-game. Definitely not using any dev tools. And we can go back to floor and put on metal tiles. Then we can start to separate it so you can kind of get an idea of why this mod... Oh my goodness. Okay, so the thought process for me is the most confusing part. Okay, there we go. Now let's go. We can go 10 by 10 and just do this. And it just looks really nice. And if you are one of the people who really, really appreciates having... um like the aesthetics be really good, then this mod is definitely for you. I mean, look how nice this soil looks. And sorry, I know, it I know it feels like I'm getting mushy over soil, but I'm not, okay? I just really appreciate good looking farmland. Like, look at that. Ooh, really good. All right, then go into zone, add in your growing zones. And while they do that, we can go do something else. I'm gonna add in this, and while they're busy growing, I'll show you the coolest part about this mod is the fact that it does let you grow soil or build soil. But the better part, I'll get to that now. Ill root, potato plants, fine. Go corn, rice. I don't want any flowers. I'm a real man. <laughs> My girlfriend is looking at me. <laughs> um, hot plant, cool. Let's go smoke leaf. Fine, we can grow some weed. Where's my strawberries at? There we go. I'm blind. Dandelions? Can we get some... Let's get roses. Psychoid. I think we have a psychoid already. No, we don't. Cool. There we go. Hide them. We can get busy with that. And then I'll show you over here. So we have a nice little cave system over here, which I think looks... It, it looks decent size for what I wanted to show you. So you can make a little pathway in here. If it didn't save at that exact moment, that would be cool. The point is that we have a nice little cave system over here. You can actually build the soil on this floor inside a cave. 
So let them just smooth out the floor quickly. And then you can build soil on top of it. That is really cool. You can effectively have an indoor greenhouse. There we go. We have soil. Let's close it off. Put an actual door there. We have a power cable right here so we can get a nice decent sun lamp in. Uh, where is... Wait. Dude, I always miss where the sun lamps are. You can put that in there. Great growing zone. And we can actually just put down the, the tilled soil in this area. Like so. And you can literally have a growing zone anywhere inside a cave because of this mod. Now whether that's broken to you, you know, fair enough. I, I feel like this is kind of crazy. Because it's growing at an extra 40%, which is just ridiculous. But, uh... <laughs> I don't know, I'm just I'm just happy that this exists. It's cool. Even if you do think it is broken, which I can kind of agree with you, I do think it is a bit... I think it pushes the line a bit too much. But the idea is cool, and not all mods are trying to be balanced or anything. This just adds in a nice little element to it, which I think is really nice. Look how pretty these look. Look how pretty they look. But yeah, you can effectively have an indoor greenhouse, the same as hydroponics, effectively. Uh, if you just keep the temperature right, like that, or something, obviously there's no power there. <sighs> but yeah, you could do this in a, a in, in an ice sheet, effectively, and it would be fine. Instead of having hydroponics at all, you could have one of these. But obviously hydroponics use a lot more energy, so... Yeah, you know, it's pretty good. Anyways, that's just an option. Anyways, hope you guys have an amazing day. I am very close to 900 subs. I will be doing a Q&A sometime soon. I might actually be 900 when you see this, depending on if I get lucky or not. Yeah, I'll be doing a Q&A soon. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I will answer all of them. Um, I'll probably do it with my girlfriend. But look how pretty this looks.